Hello friends! Welcome to episode 2 of Hit with Liz, Leg Edition, the Summer Legs Edition. We are working on getting lean, sculpted legs, those long, lean muscles. We're working on blasting fat so we can see the little, the little baby abs coming through, so we can see the leg striations coming through. We want, we want it all, okay? So here I am limbering up, rule number 23. Maybe it's rule number 17. One of the rules is to always lumber up, okay? What is that from? Comment below, tell me what's that from. If you know, you're the real MVP. And yes, yeah, so we're limbering up here because we do not want to get injured, okay? We're gonna be preventing those injuries, getting the muscles ready to go, and then we're giving our muscles just greater range of motion, which is going to help our overall performance later in the workout. So. Um, I highly recommend stretching before and after your workouts. I need to work on the, the after part, okay? Don't tell on me, but yes. Always stretch before and after your workouts. And before I stretched, I did 10 minutes on the stair metal, um, level eight to nine. So I got my heart rate up, got everything ready to go. And I had a great idea this day to take pre-workout. Okay, I already had coffee in the morning, all right? Like a big cup of coffee. And then it's like 2 p.m. and I was like, I want to take some pre-workout. And then when I actually started working out, you know, when I, like the stairs, I was kind of struggling, you know, my heart rate's beating pretty fast. And then here, okay? All of this is sped up, by the way, because I didn't want to keep you here for 20 minutes. I had to like cut all the footage in half. Seriously, it was like 20 minutes of footage. You're welcome. But um, when I got here to this tricep, I thought I was gonna throw up after because my heart was beating so fast and I had, like I, I like stopped the camera after this tricep and I had to take a lap. I thought I was gonna throw up. So the pre-workout was hitting and the workout was hitting 40 alternating reps of these doodads. I can't think of the name right now, but I will put it in the title, okay? And then we followed that movement up with split lunges. So I, we, we're we gonna prop our foot up on a bench, chair, something behind us. And we need to be far enough away that our knee is stacked on top of our ankle when we're at the, at the bottom of the movement, okay? I don't even wanna see your knee coming like a little bit over your toes. Your knee needs to be stacked on top of your ankle. And then having that bigger space between the foot between, not the foot, between your foot and the bench, um, you're going to be able to target your glutes and your hamstrings more with that bigger, with that bigger range of motion that you're getting from that. So I'm struggling, I apologize, but. And then final movement in the tricep, sumo Romanian deadlifts. I had a bit of a wider stance, so you know, like not like sumo sumo, but I would say they're sumo, okay? But yes, um, I, I always say, but yes. But yes, I did um, all this, keep your reps high. Um, I, I like the magic numbers of 12 and 16, maybe 20 every now and then, but lift through your glutes and your hamstrings, okay? Squeeze at the top of the movement. Now I just wanna point out here, I just wanna point out how much I'm sweating. If you can see how much I'm glistening and glowing, Okay, like for real. I was sweating so much. These are sumo, sumo squats and I elevated myself on two benches because I did need a bigger just range of motion um, so I could feel it in the glutes a little bit more, okay? And I did turn my toes slightly out. So more of like a plie squat. Um, and I was using a 45 to 50 pound dumbbell. Again, moderate weights. Um, keep your reps high, keep everything back to back. So this is, that was the first movement in the superset and I followed that up with leaping lunges. So for leaping lunges, you need to give yourself again a big enough range of motion between your front leg and your back leg, your front foot and your back foot. So that knee isn't going over your toe. And then from there you need to jump up high enough because you don't want your front foot hitting the ground like ages before your back foot does. You want your legs to be working equally. So you need to give the movement just equal momentum and power and blast up from the bottom. 
and yes. So first set in the next, first movement in the next super set, we're doing single leg hip thrusts, hip ups, and I was struggling, okay? My glutes were crying, my hamstrings were crying. I was like for sure that, like I was so worried when I um, watched the footage that I wasn't getting my hips up to, um, to like tabletop height, you know? I, I was very worried that I wasn't getting my hips up high enough because it felt like I wasn't. Um, my butt was cramping for real. You can see me like purse my lips. Okay, that's how much I was dying. I was dying, so good. But keep the reps high, pause at the top. You need to pause for like at least half a second and give everything a nice squeeze. Give it a little extra, okay? I'm only, we're always about the extra. Do you and be extra. Second movement in that superset, we're doing single leg step ups. We're stepping up from the side of the bench instead of stepping straight up, like straight on. Um, and we're targeting the outer glute a little bit more so. And then you'll see in this movement that I'm kind of squatting down a little bit giving myself again a bigger, um, well going to like a greater depth in the movement. And then my glute and hammy is gonna work a little bit harder to get me back up. So we don't, so we don't wanna focus on the non-working leg for getting up from the base of the movement. So my non-working leg right now is my left leg, okay? I'm going to try to use my left leg as little as possible and I want my right leg doing all the work because my right leg is the leg I'm focusing on and my right leg needs all the gains, all of the shreds. If I'm using my left leg to push me up, then what good is that going to do for my right leg, right? So just, just look at that glistening sweat, okay? If, if you do this workout, Thank you, first of all, thank you for the support, but you, you need to be sweating equally as much as I was, right? Last, this was a tricep, so last circuit, last tricep in this little workout ditty. Um, so I did a single leg Romanian deadlift into a reverse lunge. You know, you see this in a lot of my leg workouts because I love it. I live for this movement when I do legs. It's awesome. Um, but yes, the cables were a nice switch up because honestly, I can get great, a greater contraction, I feel like, and I feel like I can make that mind to muscle connection a little bit better. Um, it does require a bit more core stability, I would say. Um, and then obviously you are using a little bit of your upper body since you have to, yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, I feel like I can make the mind to muscle connection and I just feel my glutes and my hamstrings burning. So, loved it. Keep the reps high. This I was using actually pretty heavy weight. I was using like 80 pounds here. So, again, they keep everything in kilograms on the cables for whatever reason. And, I mean, it's kilograms is not a hard concept, okay? It's not a hard concept. But when in, when in the moment, I'm just like, okay, how many pounds is that? We'll say this much, just guesstimating. And then the final movement in this little tricep, the final movement of the workout was these jump squats. Again, keep the reps high. I think I only like maybe went to 16, but do, do better than me and go to 20, okay? Really explode up in the movement and feel the gains. And then we ate the gains after the workout. We got some Tokyo Joes, I got no carb, double veggies, tofu, all the peanut sauce, all the curry sauce, and I finished it, girl, you already know. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next workout. Hit with Liz, coming at ya in a few days here. We'll do our best, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.